In a county with a population of just over 20,000, the sheriff's department is investigating its fifth and sixth murders in two months. Deputies found two bodies yesterday in a home on Sutton Road in Mary Hill. WNCT's Zora Stevenson spent the day talking to residents who say this violent trend is uncommon in such a rural community. Residents in this area are starting to notice the crime trend. One neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says we didn't even use to lock our doors and now we definitely do. A quiet community. That's how some describe Bertie County. But in the last two months, it's been anything but in April. The Bertie County Sheriff's Office is investigating its third homicide case this month. In May, the trend continues. It's sad, but it doesn't surprise me. 88-year-old Doris Baldwin was born and raised in Bertie County. Well, it means everything because that's home. She's lived in her current home off Sutton Road in Mary Hill for over 20 years and is especially concerned about Tuesday's homicide. Sheriff John Hawley says his deputies found 57-year-old Anna Rousen and her 63-year-old husband James Rousen dead inside their home. Rousen's co-workers were worried about him and called the sheriff's office. Sheriff Hawley says they went to check on the house and that's when they found one victim in the bedroom and another in the kitchen. He tells us there was obvious trauma but would not elaborate on specifics. When I asked Baldwin if she's scared or worried, this was her response. The man upstairs is going to take care of me. He's been for 82, 88 years. She says her prayers are with everyone involved. Well, it's kind of sad. Makes you feel sad and feel bad because you hate for people to think that all this crime is happening right underneath you. The SBI and the Sheriff's Office are working together to solve this case. In Bertie County, Zora Stevenson, not on your side.